What is going on, everybody? And welcome to another Beta Memoirs. And a day indeed it was. Uh, one thing to remind everybody, I did liquidate all my positions yesterday. I didn't like the way the market was playing out. Uh, I thought that we would go for a dip. And uh, needless to say, overnight we did dip. Uh, but being said, we were bought right back up. Uh, there's still a lot of strength. Uh, I am just being cautious at these levels. Uh, because we are a bit high, especially when it comes to big tech. Big tech has really um, been pushing limits on some of them, like your Amazons and Facebooks, which Facebook actually uh, pulled back quite a bit today and continued to sell off. Uh, but still ones like uh, Shop, uh, Apple was still very strong today. Uh, Microsoft, very, very strong. Uh, there was a couple tech stocks that were still uh, very strong. And then you had some uh, biotech uh, that has gone crazy over the past couple of days. And so being said, um, what do we got in store tomorrow? Uh, we had, we've had we had a lot of data come out. Uh, I know one of the F Fed members talked today. Um, I really didn't listen to any of that only because it's not coming from Powell. Uh, there's been a lot of mixed messages when it doesn't come from Powell. And I think uh, that, that's that been kind of frontline news uh, to kind of throw people off to try to scare people. But I think people are starting to understand the concept that uh, Mr. Powell knows what he's talking about. So being said, um, tomorrow I think uh, we could get another push up, uh, BA turn around, uh, the banks were turning around. Uh, there was a lot of strength in everything, which is something we wanna see. Uh, we don't want just tech to run, we want all uh, value and tech to run together. And we're starting to see that even Airbnb uh, had a monster move today. Uh, missed the dip on that one. Uh, it was one I was thinking about grabbing and then um, completely overlooked it when my alert went off. And then next thing I knew it was back up to 150 today. <laughs> so being said, um, again, I like SPY. SPY is looking, again, really strong. Uh, and a month, uh, going into a new month, July 1st tomorrow, we've got a short week next week. The volume is dying down. Uh, summer months are kind of stepping in a little bit here. So you are seeing a little bit uh, lower volume, not seeing uh, major moves. Um, I mean, there are some individual moves that are really playing out, but uh, for the most part in general, uh, the volumes has really died down. Um, so being said, uh, you'll see that the next uh, couple of days and next week, uh, especially being a short week. But I do like spike in the current situation, uh, QQQ, uh, holding well. It looks like it's starting to push back up. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if we all time high again tomorrow uh, for QQQ. Uh, even though I have, like I said, I liquidated all my positions, I did grab some Tesla calls uh, going into tomorrow uh, because there is numbers, Tesla numbers on Friday. And we got NIO numbers uh, tomorrow, uh, delivery numbers. So that being said, I think we get, could get a sympathy um, pump if NIO gets good numbers tomorrow. And then uh, the Tesla um, numbers will kind of be the cherry on top on Friday uh, to possibly break us out over that 700 because we've been dying to get over that 700. Uh, so I did get some Tesla calls uh, for the nights. But again, most of my positions uh, pretty much cash um, because, again, I want to remain cautious. I don't want to put too much risk on the table only because uh, we have been running pretty hot for quite a while. I'm not saying that we can't continue up, uh, but I'm going to be cautious uh, because again, I don't like the levels. I like things to kind of uh, die out uh, and fall and base out before I start taking positions again. Uh, and a lot of my share positions, uh, I swing bigger share positions. So being said, I, I'm looking for that. I don't want to grab stuff at these higher levels uh, currently. So, but being said, uh, watch list time. What do I got for the watches tomorrow? Tomorrow I actually have quite a bit. I have uh, Tesla, because I do think it's gonna, I want to watch this for the numbers tomorrow. Uh, Roblox, I'm kind of looking for a continuation there. The daily still looks good. I think uh, we could still see 100. Uh, it still hold well, held well. I think it's just kind of waiting on the markets uh, and get some momentum. I think Roblox can continue. Um, Airbnb is kind of a continuation. I want to see if this starts really starting to pump now, especially after today, it had a lot of value. So if that's the case, I think we can uh, uh, really run an Airbnb. Uh, Roku had a monster uh, news today. I was pushing up. I think Roku can actually uh, hit 500 tomorrow. Um, being said that Apple is actually buying one of the buttons on a Roku remote. Uh, so being said, uh, Roku could be huge. Uh, continuing into tomorrow, NIO, I'm looking at uh, the numbers for deliveries and continuation there. So again, not all 
plays that I have are technical. Um, I do go off news and events as well. I try to uh, consider those when I when I do look at positions. Uh, there's a lot of things I consider when I look at positions. Uh, so it's not just technicals. I think technicals are good to an extent, but it's good to know uh, events that are coming up, uh, continuation of events that are currently going on. Uh, you get better moves in option pricing. Uh, so again, I do play both options and I play shares. So being said, uh, it's good to do both in my opinion. Um, have some stuff working in the background as well as doing scalping. So Tesla is the first one I got. And Tesla's held really well. And this is why I ended up taking this because of the numbers. Uh, it's going to continue to bounce between here. I did get some time on this just in case uh, to try to alleviate some of this uh, this little bit of rattling, this, this tight range within here. Uh, but ultimately, I think uh, those numbers tomorrow could break us over. Once we get over the 700, uh, I think we're really ready to rip at that point. Um, so we got stuck on that 780 on the last uh, big rip that we did have. So if we do break and go, I think it will be pretty easy going to 780. Uh, from that point, I think it's going to kind of stall there. Um, we break above that. Uh, I don't know. We're, we might have to wait until earnings to actually break back above that and to start getting the $800 range again. Uh, but considering everything else, I think we definitely have the green flag to do that. Uh, now that inflation uh, is essentially determined to be transitory. Uh, Roblox. Now, Roblox, I did exit out of my shares position in this uh, on yesterday, uh, but ultimately, I think it's still holding well on the daily. It still looks really good. And we are retesting the middle Bollinger Band, which is good to see. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if we, again, uh, tried to attempt all-time highs from this point being a lower uh, high here. Uh, so tomorrow I'm, I'm watching this to see what's going on. Uh, definitely something I want to keep on watch. Um, and again, I want to try to scalp, keep a lot of stuff intraday, perhaps uh, swing stuff overnight. I don't want to build big positions currently right now. Again, I don't like the the high levels that we're at. So being said, I think that last dip where I grabbed Robux and Etsy was kind of uh, the last like good, I think, swings uh, for at least the next couple of weeks unless we get some major pullback um i'm gonna kind of hold off on that until i can see something uh work itself out a little bit better or perhaps even tesla breaks over 700 and then i will look into getting some shares as well some calls and that and ride that up to 800. <clears throat> by being said uh airbnb is the other one i have uh again monster move today came down uh was looking like garbage yesterday and today it just hit the bottom ball under bad on the daily and it took off and uh, climbed all the way back to 153. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually come back down to the 149 mark, retest that middle Bollinger Band before continuing up, if we do continue up. Um, but I do like the consolidation. I want to get back into this. Uh, again, I'm kind of upset. I did miss this a little bit today, but uh, I think the opportunity is still there uh, to get a position before this thing really starts to try to push back up to 200. Uh, Roku is the other one I got. A uh, Roku monster move towards the end of the day again with that information about Apple. Uh, it's been kind of flat the past couple of days, and then it just broke out today. A monster move here, and I think it's going to continue. I think we still you know go at that 480, but I think we're looking for that 500 mark uh, tomorrow. So something I would definitely want to keep on watch tomorrow and watch for that continuation, uh, at least for one more rip uh, following that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to continue to hold it for anything longer than that. I don't want to take anything into the long weekend. And then NIO, I have uh, delivery numbers tomorrow. And so I, I missed the move today. Uh, I should have actually have been watching this. It was on my watch list this morning. And then I completely uh, didn't watch it. I was paying more attention to Amazon this morning, uh, which really didn't do a whole lot today. Uh, it, it attempted to break out, and then it didn't. Uh, I think it's still waiting on the antitrust stuff. But um NIO, again, broke up and holding straight. I think tomorrow, again, if we don't gap up, once we get those numbers, I think it's really going to have some room to run. At least attempt to try to hit that 60 again is a good, strong possibility for NIO. So something I'm going to watch tomorrow. But that's essentially what I got for you guys. Uh, again, there's no major events yet. Yeah, there's more data coming out. But uh, there's also the, uh, the OPEC meeting tomorrow as well, which could play heavy on the market depending on what happens with oil prices tomorrow. Uh, it really does influence uh, what is going on until we become full-blown EV everywhere, uh, which will take some while, even though Tesla is becoming quite popular now. 
it will still take some time, but uh, ultimately oil, or depending on what happens with oil, could uh, influence what happens with the market tomorrow. So that's also something to keep in mind. But that is pretty much what I got. So until next time, guys, I will see you later.